All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to our Trash Cans Irby Derby campaign. We're jumping in on a 1.5 Skull assassination mission, working for the Free World League, and, well, <clears throat> I am certainly looking forward to whatever it is we're going to face, because so far <clears throat> we have the enemy units and a support lance to deal with, and they both appear to be in a similar position. Now, usually this is the exact opposite of what you want. Because what you want to do is you want to have local superiority and split apart the enemy who will usually outnumber you, at least often outnumber you. So this has the potential to be, well, <clears throat> rather contentious. So the assassination target is moving on six. I'm not sure if that was delayed down or not, but if it is really moving on six, uh, then it could be a medium mech, probably not a heavy, although it could be a heavy with a very good pilot. So we'll have to see. Let's get a sensor lock going down, see if we can strip some evasion. And that's a grasshopper. So that is in fact a heavy mech with a good pilot. So that Vanguard special uh, specialization, I believe, gives increased initiative. Uh, hence why he was able to move at six. And this is very deadly. I mean. Double medium, large LRM-5 is not the worst loadout, but just getting through all of that armor will take us some time, and in that time, we will very likely get whittled down. Especially because, well, two of our mechs are significantly faster than the others, so instead of, instead of us presenting local superiority against them, well, we're going to be catching up trying to prevent them from having local superiority against us for too long. 39% damage resistance is pretty meaty, uh, so I think what we want to do is we're going to get some skirmishing in. We're going to run up here. I want a nice close shot for maximum accuracy with the Irby Lamb. And then on initiative 8, the next round, we're just going to move him back. We do also see a spider. I'm not too worried about that. It looks like it's periphery build. That reloading RL-20 could get some good damage off, though. J. Edgar and another unknown vehicle and unknown mech. Um, now, contrary to what you might think, sometimes it is easiest to go through the uh, heavier mechs, assuming you have the firepower for it, just because they have that much worse so... Oh no. Okay, so we have the assassination target. We also have not one, but two different lances of enemy supporting max. This could get bad really quickly. So, alright. How do we deal with this? Well, we take out their guns as quickly as we can in the best increments that we can. Um, I'm tempted to leave the urban mech here for this turn, and basically move him up as a deep striker, getting side and rear shots on things where he can, maybe even on something as fragile as the commando or the spider. Uh, we're going to reserve. Now, let's see that spider move, please. Give me something with minimal evasion. Come on. Well, no, not, not exactly. That's six evasion pips. It's very nice. Actually, a good consolidation on their part as well. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, Grasshopper only has one evasion pip, ouch, could you not land that large laser on your first shot when I have six evasion pips, please? That's just very rude, very, very rude. Okay, can I get, so the trees would be ideal for mitigating damage, but the side shot gives us better accuracy, and... Potentially damage clustering, although we missed the large laser, so nothing really, nothing doing there <clears throat> at the moment. Oh man, this is not generally how you want missions to start off. Uh, the last one, we were able to chew through two of the Op 4 uh, before the rest of them really got within weapons range, or at least effective weapons range, and that mission was smooth as butter. This is going to be less so. Um, so we have mobility on them, oddly enough, with our urban max. 
And I think we should just keep pounding into the only good target available, which is that Grasshopper, because any damage is better than none. If I take this shot against the Drillson, it's just it's not really going to land. So, let's see what we can do with that, at least with some good damage. We're starting to make our way through that Grasshopper's armor. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good work there. And Max in that UMR-90 is still way too far behind. He might be able to bring his guns uh, to, to bear next turn, but that's a definite might. Um, so we could go for this. It's a little risky. Not as much evasion as I would like. I can get four, but that's a side shot, not a rear shot. And... Okay. What if I sprint? That's not horrible. No, no. <clears throat> okay. Bit of a risk here, but I want that grasshopper off the field so we can take a big threat off the field as well. Give me a nice rear arc shot, please. Okay. Structure exposed, large laser to destroy. Yes. That's the sort of in in well, easy for me to say. Incremental progress that we do need. Oh, grasshopper rugged. Cool. 150 internal structure. So we're gonna try to shift to the right with two of them and shift to the left with the other two. Split them up, take rear shots. That's ooh, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do to be successful here, but we need to get the lamb out of danger, um, away from all these things moving on nine while he only has three evasion pips because this thing does not have nearly as much armor as the rest of our urban mechs, and so it is relatively vulnerable. Uh, although it does pack a big punch, and that is nice. Oof. Yeah, well, I'm not confident about this at all. We might very well see casualties here, um, even if we're careful, which is, you know, not how you want that to go. Uh, there's worse th No, no. We have no good shots on these guys, do we? Okay. Well, <clears throat> that's a good shot. It doesn't move my lamb to a good position, but it does potentially nail this grasshopper. Poor crit. Not enough to get him out. Nope. Scattered to the side torsos. Okay, so we have three enemy max in the reinforcing. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you to start working on them. Eight evasion pips. Just stay alive, be annoying, draw fire. And, oh goodness gracious, I hope you don't die. <laughs> nice damage with the streaks, structure exposed, and the stinger. Okay, good. Makes him a good target of opportunity for the rest of what we have, I suppose. Yeah, wow. Okay, spider's moving up, and rear attack. That's not good at all. Trash can's taking an absolute beating. And that thing has lots of evasion again. Although four is not as bad as six. Um, can I bring the guns online? No. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're going to go a full three turns without support from Max. Let's see if we can get the Hermes. I would love to take that shot, but I'm going to end up hurting my own mech if I do. Okay, I can kick you. That would be nice. Best chance to injure him, really. What else is moving on this turn? We still have the Grasshopper moving. Okay. Well, there's no reason to do this right now, so let's just wait. Six evasion pips is better than what that uh, Hermes 2 will end up with post move. Okay, it didn't land a hit on trash can, that's good. Very good. Okay, um, let's see if the grasshopper wants to move. <clears throat> oh, did you DFA? Oh my goodness, no, no, no. Oh, he missed. Oh, thank goodness he missed. Oh man. The aggression on these mechs is just dialed all the way up. I've noticed uh, recently just lots of DFAs from the Op 4, which can get really nasty. 
We did land our tag on the J Edgar. And a kick and a laser hit. So, hey, I mean, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, not terrible. But we haven't taken any guns off the field yet. And considering how badly we're outnumbered. See, here's the thing. That hit is not horrible. Uh, but we can't actually take that hit all day, much as I'd like to say that we can, because eventually that hit is going to wear through armor. And once it wears through armor, we lose max. So we have ourselves a bit of an issue. It's a panther, SRM4, large ken, commando move up. Structure exposed. Yeah, it begins. Okay, that's an exposed structure on the leg as well. Very bad for us. Six evasion pips, and they're still managing to land all that damage. Rather impressive, to be honest. Um, let's see if we can kill this panther. Or at least cripple him. Give me a precision strike. See what we can do. Very nice damage. But not a kill. That's okay. That's okay. Is that okay? No, but it's probably not okay. But <clears throat> we'll pretend it's okay, and then maybe it will be. Mm. All right. So what do we do? What do we do? Well, we're gonna take Max, and we're going to kick you, my friend. Although I'm actually, do I want the rear arc? I don't really want the rear arc. <laughs> it's not giving me the rear arc. Dag Nabit game. That's just obnoxious. So I don't want the rear arc because we've already damaged the front and won the sides. Um, so this kick could potentially... Well, no, it, it's not going to get through the armor regardless. It's only 45. Yeah, that's disappointing. Can we land the binary? Ooh, we landed the binary. If that was a top hit, I swear. No, it wasn't. Okay, so we might actually get through that J. Edgar next turn. It's too slow. It's way too slow. We're gonna end up taking way too much fire from this. Ooh, man. I'm very nervous. I know, you know, if you're streaming, you're supposed to be the whole cool as a cucumber, everything's going to plan and all that, but, um, it's not right now. So, uh, you know, that's not great. Okay, so if you look at this grasshopper, I feel like this is a bit of a distraction carnifex, but I also get the feeling that if I don't keep hitting him, he will kill me. I don't like being killed. So we're gonna run over here, get seven evasion pips, just to see if they can get through that too. They probably can, I shouldn't really challenge them for it. Another rear shot in the grasshopper. Ammo explosion. Okay. <clears throat> Grasshopper's down. That is the main objective in the assassination mission, but we can't evac uh, with it because the other two reinforcing lances are technically main objectives as well. Um, so if we do evac, we will lose the mission, which uh, is not exactly what I want to have happen. I think what we're going to do, though, is we might start going in for some melee brawling against these light mechs. We've already seen uh, in previous missions that they can't really deal with that all that well. Um, and I'm not really going to get great evasion pips anyway, although I could get up to five, four with an effective shot here. And that spider does have paper-thin armor. You know what? I'll take that over zero. And we'll just have to hope for a good hit. We have a precision strike available. If this doesn't work out, then we'll kick on the next turn. Ooh, very nice, very nice. No dead spider. I was really hoping to get a dead spider there. Let's take a look. 24 left in the rear CT. If we'd clustered there instead of two shots to the arm, that would have been it. But we did not. Okay, Drillson moving up. Shooting at Max is... Oh, jeez, not with that. Oh, man. I was about to say, shooting at Max is okay with me, but uh, not if he keeps landing that much damage. Right arm does carry the binary laser here, and I purchased that, so I'd really rather it not get blown up, because uh, significant investment there to bring up the firepower on this lance, and that binary laser has done us some great service. So they have three moving on nine. That's going to be the Locust in the back, uh, the Commando 2D, and the st oh, Stinger's already moved. Rear shot? No. LRM's crossed the map against uh, Max and our UMR90. 
We might have to hide him again, but he is drawing some fire, which uh, I do like that. That's good. Very nice for us. Commando. Okay, yeah. Punctured lung. Head hit, pilot injured. He's not bleeding out, but he will be uh, out of commission for a little while after this mission. Uh, okay, J. Edgar sitting still, not doing anything. And much as I would like to kick this guy again. Oh, come on, calculate. Let me, yep, thank you. Um, we need to get him out of direct line of fire because that's too much incoming fire too quickly and he can't take that. So we'll get her forward facing against everything else we can. And please kill this. Thank you. Okay. So scratch two targets, seven left. Um, the biggest, meatiest guy on the table is gone, though, with the grasshopper. I kind of wish I had the opportunity to take this for more salvage. This was only a two max salvage mission. Uh, otherwise, we could have picked up most of a grasshopper chassis, which would be pretty nice. Um, although, even as I say that, chassis are useless until they're complete. Otherwise, they're just dead weight in our bay. So, that looks like a good shot. Um, except we bored through the front of the stinger, not the rear arc before. So it would actually be more helpful to us if we can have good accuracy to shoot him from the front. Accuracy is a little worse, because we don't get that blinking accuracy bonus. Do we have other good targets? I apologize for this, but if I don't play well here, we're going to take some losses. Yeah, we might even take losses if I do play well. You know what? Let's try and kill this panther. Four evasion pips should be enough for right now. Especially if we can get a mech kill here, which is never something we should count on, but... Yeah, that's why. We don't pull it off. Left torso is ripped off this thing. All we needed was a single one of those... Well, I guess more than one. Look at that. He's hanging on by an absolute thread. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's really not fine, but we will... Well, we'll just have to be a little plucky and continue on. Um, horrible shots. I'm going to wait with trash can because we have really no good target opportunities there. Let's see. Who's going to move and give me a good shot? So it's the spider's turn. Is that a DFA too? Yes, that was. Also missed. No? Didn't miss. I'm confused. That said it missed. But he clearly didn't. Because our Hermes 2 has been opened up. I swear, they're more effective with the DFAs than they are with their shooting. Uh, okay, well, you need to move, because you have no evasion, but you can't run. And <clears throat> let's block line of sight, if we can. We can here, run rough ground, it's not exactly great. But it's the only way we can minimize return fire for right now. And give me that leg, please. Nope, didn't give me the leg, did ya? Okay, we did get Panic Pilot checked. Alright, so we have six enemies remaining on the field. This rear shot absolutely sucks. Um, that flanking shot absolutely sucks. That one's okay. It's on the front of a mech that we've damaged through the, through the back, and it risks friendly fire. So, what about here? Not great. That's a better shot. That's still a bad shot. Well, you know what? Let's take it. Well, is there a reason to take it? No. Um, hold on just a moment. Okay, so we're going to try Precision Strike on the Panther, because it's our only really good option. Uh, although, you know, to be honest, that's not a good option. We're not going to do that. It'd be a waste of a precision strike that we could use on something else. And I think I'm actually going to use it on this locust. Not the best chances to hit, although we actually pound two into him, so that's a really good shot. Uh, but I wanted him slowed down to eight, so that we have more of a chance to deal damage over on this side of the map um, before they have a chance to respond on the next turn. It's basically a bit of protection for the Irby Lamb, while he is taking some light fire right now. And let's see. Okay, alright. Who's moving? So that's gonna be the stinger. 
We did damage him early on, so in BTA 3062, even just damaging a mech can give uh, debuffs to that pilot's accuracy uh, and other things like that. So taking every bit of damage we can get in is uh, a good thing. And yeah, Max is having some trouble. Unsteady, lost evasive. Very nearly chewed through on the right arm and that left leg. And pilot injury. So this is very much not a clean mission at all. This is not what you would normally want to see. Um, how many evasion pips can I get and still keep the rear firing arc? That's reasonable. That's not great. I only need 10 damage on him. But if the streaks don't fire and the ER smalls miss, this is a completely wasted shot. So we are instead going to just go right up next to him. One evasion pip, draw some fire with this guy. Questionable decisions being made, but I want this mech dead. Yeah, way more than enough. Oh, so there weren't actually nine, there were only eight, because the reinforcements are only a set of three. So we have uh, four left on the battlefield now. That makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, Locust moving up. He will take advantage of this, yep. Ouch. That structure exposed. Uh... Yeah, that was structure exposed. And now we have a problem, because this guy's going to move on 9 next turn. He was only moving on 8 uh, because we slowed him down. Okay, that's too good of a rear shot to ignore. It does kind of leave Max on the other side out to dry, but I need this thing dead. Uh, I forgot we worked through the front on him, but that's a dead stinger. Good. Good, good. Just hold together a little bit longer, guys. We can make it out of here, I promise. Probably. Maybe. I want the damage resistance from the forest, but I want the evasion from the movement. Battle Lord, see if we can land the binary. If we do, 44% chance of lands. Medium laser destroyed. Commando taking some fire. But those deadly SRM 6 and 4 racks are still online, and that can be a bit of a problem. That's not a good shot. Yeah, this is too good of a shot not to take on the Drillson. Maybe the Hermes will draw some fire, but I don't really want that either, because our right arm is exposed. Nice damage on the Drillson. The armor on those tanks is just... It's nothing to scoff at. It makes me wish I had those fire javelins back from the last campaign. Drillson's opening up. Oof. One MG round goes into our exposed structure. I'm very glad that they neutered the uh, crit chance on those MGs, because otherwise that would just be, well, kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's see. There's a locust. Okay. Lucky for us, we missed. But that was luck, that was not skill. So, <clears throat> Commando actually taking evasive action. Don't really, don't really know why. Okay. How can I get effective fire back over here? The lamb, you'd think, would be the answer to that. But just far enough away to make that not really the best idea. And there's nothing moving. Oh, so let's do... Do a kick here. Okay, the left side is damaged, so I want to. How come I can't kick? Okay. It's a height difference thing. That's obnoxious. So we can only kick from this side, so we're gonna do it. A little bit risky with our exposed structure here, but it is just a leg. I don't have anything valuable in there, and we're gonna need to pass some time before the next mission because of a pilot injury anyway. Um, now I need this locust dead. Let's see where he's injured. Front torso, but only five armor on the rear. So let's go in for that rear strike and get a little bit closer to where we need to go next turn. Okay. Missiles landing well. Very good. So the second reinforcing lance is now officially dead. Um, I don't want to take that shot. We risk hitting our own mech here more than I'd like. 
You know what? Let's turn off the medium pulses, sink some heat, and 64% uh, shots are just too risky anyway. Landing two on the drill sim, but not enough to kill it. And we're gonna wait down to after the drill sim moves before I risk moving Max, although I might just keep him out of this because that commando is gonna move. Oof, ouch. Very early on again, but the Hermes is the one actually with damage structure, so he's the one I need to protect. Now, right arm opened up as well. Two medium lasers on there that I don't want to lose. Um, can I get a shot? Yeah, that's technically a shot, but I'm just gonna brace, because I can't even sprint with that amount of uh, unsteadiness. Ouch. No, 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 no. Okay, it was a kick. Don't take my arm off, please. Don't take my arm off, please. Good. Ish. Maybe. Alright. Very nerve-wracking. <clears throat> you need to give me a kill here. Alright. Good kick. Ah, oh, yes. Dead tank. Okay. Yeah, just add insult to injury there. That works just fine for me. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so we can get the urban mech up far enough for a rear shot on this guy, and we're going to take it, because nothing else is really blown through other than... And yes, the arm is technically gone, but that torso is only damaged, not not uh, full armor blow through. And I can land very nice shots. <coughs> Excuse me. Very nice shots here. Dead commando. We've made it through the mission somehow. Thank goodness. Thank you all for sticking around, and we'll see you again real soon.